Hey, so I was literally just sitting here. I was about to go and drink my uh, Coca-Cola Dream World or Dream Land Dream World. Uh, but then I was like, dude, I can't do that yet. I have to film a video. So here I am filming a video. It's uh, 7.25 a.m. I'm not exactly down for filming a video, but I was just kind of like, hey, I should probably do this. Considering that's literally a big reason why I even have this soda to begin with. So I watched Badly and Chug's video and he literally said it tastes like a tropical soda or a tropical drink like mangoes and guavas and pineapples and all kinds of exotic things like that. Uh, but either way, let's give her a shot. Also, for some reason, it's described as being a Gen Z drink. I don't know how a drink can be of a generation, I guess, because we're dreamers, right? Oh, it's such a bad thing to be a dreamer, whatever. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, I can smell the tropical uh, fruit. Ah, uh, no. You're just like Gen Zers, man. Always trying to pop off about something. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, I gave it the finger. Did you see that? Thumbs up. <sighs> what in the ever-loving fuck am I drinking? Whoa. Okay. Uh, that is something else. I'm blown away. Coca-Cola, that's your best soda you've ever made. Seriously. Period. Straight across the board. Way better than Reginald Coke. Way better than Cherry Coke. Way better than Diet Coke. Vanilla Coke. Orange Cream Coke. Whatever the fuck kind of Coke you're going to put out, nothing's going to top Dream World and Coke. So keep it out. Right? That would be the logical thing. You got a delicious Coke. Everybody's going crazy for it. It's selling off the sh off the shelves rapidly. I got a good idea. How about we keep it on the shelves? How about I join the fucking meetings of these companies because these companies have no idea what the fuck they're doing. The best things that people make always leave ASAP. It's like, oh, it's Helen like hotcakes. Let's get it the fuck off the shelves because, you know... Financial reasons. It's like, I don't even need to run a company or have any experience with business management to know that the more profit you make, the better your company is off. So, like, make more Coca-Cola Dream World. Keep it on the shelves forever. And you'll make even more money than what you're already making. To me, that seems like nothing but a positive. But whatever. I'm not the major soda company, right? I'm just a fucking YouTuber who gets like five views a video. <laughs> I mean, like, seriously, total burden on myself, but I'm, I'm cool with it. It's self-aware comedy. It's all right. No, but seriously, this drink is fantastic. Uh, would I buy it again? You bet your ass. I would buy like a million cases of this. Uh, assuming I could find one. It's been off, like, hell, selling like hotcakes off the shelves. It's hard to find a bottle. Babe had to give me a bottle at her work because they there's literally nowhere else to buy them. They're going like crazy. Everybody's buying them because they're delicious. And that's exactly why. Uh, it tastes like guava and pineapple and all those flavors I described at the beginning all mixed together. It's like a tropical fruit punch soda by Coca-Cola. So you get a little bit of that cola flavor, but also it's mainly fruit. It's like 90% fruit, 10% cola. And that's how I like it. I rock and roll with this Coca-Cola. For sure. So Coca-Cola Dream World, 10 out of 10 for sure. No doubt about it. Best Coke product they've ever made, period. Best Coke I've ever had. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, uh, what? Hey, you didn't see nothing. This is delicious. Go buy yourself a bottle if you can get a hold of it. And yes, this has been Explosive Pop-Tart. Out.